What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Mystery Tackle Box Tips and Tricks video. I'm Matt from SB Fishing TV and today we're going to be taking a look at part two of the fall finesse fishing baits and that's going to be fishing some shaky heads. So if you missed part one, we went over a couple different drop shot baits, I broke a rod and we caught some fish. So overall it was pretty good. Hopefully today we'll be able to do the same thing. So let's take a look at some of the baits we're going to be working with today. Um, as far as the baits that we're going to be throwing, we have the Carl's Amazing Baits Flicker Worm. We've got this in two different colors. One's gonna be the Plum, which I think is gonna work pretty well today. And the other one, I don't actually know the name of this one, but it's like a pumpkin with gold, green, and red flake in there. Both of these should actually do pretty well. Along with that, we have the Biospawn Exo Ribbon. We're actually gonna modify this bait just a little bit because generally when I'm throwing a shaky head, I like something a little bit more finesse. Um, than the seven inch full size ribbon tail worm. But I'll show you guys how I'm gonna modify this to fish on the shaky head. And the shaky heads we're gonna be using today are the hard hat jigs stand up shaky head and the perfection jigs stand up shaky head. So both of these are pretty sweet. I actually fish this one quite a bit. This has been my main shaky head for the last few months. I love the arky head that comes on this jig. It comes through wooden rock really nice, very rarely gets snagged up, has an extra sharp hook. And I don't know, I just catch a ton of fish on this. Um, haven't done too much with the Perfection Lure stand-up jig, but it does have a pretty neat concept to it with these two arms that come down off the back of the head. Keeps that jig standing straight up in any conditions. So we're gonna rig these baits up real quick and hopefully run into some fish. So I figured I'd take a second to go over some of the spots I'm gonna fish the shaky head in. Always looking for rocks said it earlier, rocks retain heat, so I do think it is kind of an attractant to the fish. Fish are cold-blooded, so they like any bit of warmer water that they can find. That's one key area that I'm always looking for. Um, docks are good, points are good, you have bridge pilings, that kind of goes along with rock, and then bluff walls are probably some of my favorite spots to fish shaky heads. It's something that I have tied on pretty much all winter, and I'll be switching between a drop shot and a shaky head pretty often um, until I figure out what they really want to key in on. As far as the shaky heads go, they do have their time and place. They're not going to work every day. There are going to be days that are obviously better than others. All right, we're going to rig both of these shaky heads up on two different rods. Since I only have one spinning rod with me today, I'm going to throw the hard hat jigs, stand up shaky head, and the flicker worm on a seven foot one medium heavy, which is definitely a little bit overpowered for your general shaky head needs, but it's what we're working with. I've got 12 pound fluorocarbon on here and a high speed gear ratio reel. Now normally I'm gonna throw a shaky head on a spinning rod, it's just a little bit more manageable. But this is what we're gonna work with today and it should be fine. My favorite shaky head setup is gonna be like a seven foot, seven foot one medium spinning rod, which I just broke. So the other spinning rod we're gonna be throwing thanks to Mr. John B, is a 6'8 medium light, which is a little bit lighter than I like. It's more of a drop shot rod in my opinion. But we're gonna throw the 3 16th ounce Perfection Lure stand-up jig on this with the XO ribbon. And I'm gonna show you quickly how I'm gonna modify it. So this is what I was telling you about earlier, these arms, the way it just stands up perfectly on the bottom like that. Love it. Here we go, rigged up. Now let's take a look at this XO ribbon. We could throw it exactly how it is, but I do like to modify them a little bit in the winter time just to make them a little smaller. So you can obviously take pieces off the body here to make the body shorter and keep that long tail. Or like what we're gonna do right now is just cut this tail a little bit. And I like to cut it at an angle. I don't exactly have the best scissors on me right now, but we're gonna go to that first bend in the ribbon and just cut it straight. So now it's more like a cut tail worm, but that tail will still get a lot of kick. Let's rig this baby up and get fishing. One thing you're gonna have to keep in mind when you are fishing the shaky head in the winter is that each cast can really take some time. Like you wanna let that bait soak. You wanna slowly drag it back to the boat, but that's how most of the fish are this time of year and in this cold water temperatures. They're not gonna be moving around a ton. They're not gonna be super active, so. You just want to mimic everything in the water. So the bait fish are kind of the same right now, slow and lethargic. So I'm sitting out in like 12 feet of water right now, marking a decent amount of fish. And this is just like a the front side of an island, comes out into a point and then the channel's out to the right. 
So if you guys see these rocks up here, that's something I definitely pay lots of attention to when the water starts getting cold, especially when you have sun beating down directly on it. They're gonna hold, they're gonna retain a little bit more heat than any other piece of cover. So that's usually where I'll start when the water gets cold and I wanna try dragging something around. Oh, there's a bite. Oh no, why? There we go. Shaky head fish, baby. In there. Awesome, there we go. That's what we've been looking for literally for the last two hours. It's the flicker worm with the stand up shaky head. Ow. Healthy little pound and a halfer. Not bad, we'll take it. I've been leaving this area and coming back to it quite a bit because I know that these rocks hold fish and I've been bit here quite a bit. Yeah, you can see this fish has definitely been on the bottom. Feel that dirt on his belly, mud. He's locked down. Chunky guy. See ya. Really having to let this worm soak. I mean, cast it out, drag it through some rocks and just let it sit. That fish ate when it was just sitting completely still, just dead sticking it. It's gonna vary day by day, of course, like how they wanna eat it. It's not every day they're gonna to wanna to eat this thing just sitting still. Sometimes they'll want it shook, sometimes they'll want it to be dragged, sometimes, you know, they want it to be working pretty quick. But today it seems like they just want it slow. Boom. Oh no, come back. Fish number two. Another one on the flicker worm. A little bit smaller than the last one. Maybe about the same size, not bad. Smoked it, that one ate it really good. A little bit shallower than the last one too. Fish number two on the uh, flicker worm. I've been switching pretty often between the Perfection Lures Stand Up Shaky Head and the Exo Ribbon and the Flicker Worm. It just seems like they want that smaller Flicker Worm today. A little bit less action to it, but nothing crazy to write home about. But I mean, when the water's 48 degrees, catching anything feels amazing. Another thing that I've noticed today is that most of the fish that I've been catching, even though I've been fishing deeper, are coming from shallower water. Like that four to eight foot range, that's something you definitely don't want to write off even when the water is cold. There are fish that stay shallow year round, so don't forget to check those shallow spots, especially when you're fishing these rocks. They'll push up against them and just try to stay warm. I really do like fishing shaky heads the majority of the time in that mid-range, like four to 15 feet, I'd say, is like my favorite place to fish shaky heads. So definitely try that out when you're out there on this cold water. All right, you guys, that's where we're gonna finish this one off. I really hope you enjoyed this video on late fall slash early winter shaky head fishing. I'm glad I was able to put a couple fish in the boat on the shaky head. It was a lot tougher than I was expecting it to be out here, but that's just the way winter fishing goes sometimes, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite winter fishing bait is for bass. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.